What I have here is the new Hairline Extended Body Tool uh, that came out with this year. It's really made extended body uh, tying a lot easier. Uh, fits perfectly into your vise and has a really nice uh, tying point. So go ahead and tie in your thread. Move your thread down to the tip. And I've cut a piece of orange foam about a quarter inch wide. I'm going to lay it over centered on the, on the pin. Make a few wraps <clears throat> to really give a good segment. I'm going to pull the foam back. Make a couple wraps underneath the foam. And with this foam you want to make a couple loose wraps and then tighten as you go. If you tighten it all the way your first time around, you'll cut this foam. It's really not uh, that durable when it comes to this thin tying thread. Okay, on this one I'm just going to do two segments. And your second whip finish. Tie it off. Really close. Cut my thread off the tool and then slide it off. Now I've got a size 8 hook, 2x long, 1x strong. I'm going to tie my thread in to the bend. Take my ex extended body. Lay it on either side of the hook. And I'm tying my segments, trying to keep it kind of even with the size of the segments that I've been doing so far. And pull it back, and now I'm going to make sure I tie in that tag end that'll really help hold this extended body on here. Back. I'm just going to do one more. Now when I cut my foam, I'm going to cut it at a point. And that'll give me a good base to tie off this foam. By cutting it at a point, I am sure that I tie the tips just as secure as the butt. And now, I'm going to take my brown magic marker and dirty up this whole thing quite a bit. If you look at the real stones, they're not typically a real bright orange. They've got quite a bit of brown on them. So I want to make sure I mimic that. I don't like my stones to be too bright. So for my underwing, I'm going to use any kind of realistic wing material. This is Eartha wing I'm using. It's from Montana Fly. You can use foam. You can use a bunch of different things. So I'm going to cut a section. And around wing like that. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna lay it just past my body. And I'm gonna tie it in. And I'm gonna cut this at a point as well. So I can tie that in really well. Okay, and I'm just going to take a couple strands and three strands of brown crystal flash. Tie it in on top, double it back so you'll have actually six strands coming off the rear. And clip it even with your wing. 
Now for my overwing, I'm going to use some mousse. When you cut off a section, you want to make sure you get all that fluff out of there so it's nice and clean. Throw out the stacker. And tie it in even with your wing. Now when I tie in this wing, I'm going to make like three or four good wraps. I'm going to pull up some of the butts. Make another wrap. Keep pulling up these butts. Make another wrap. This will ensure that every single one of these hairs gets tied in nice and tight. That way the wing will not slip out on you. Tied on the butts. Now I'm going to move my thread to the eye of the hook. I'm just going to take some regular elk hair, put it close to the base to get as long as you can, again to clean out everything you can. Sometimes it's helpful to take your scissors and just kind of run it through. You can see how much more fur comes out of that. The more fur you have, a, the harder it is to stack, but B, that stuff will actually collect water and sink your fly. Okay, it's nice and clean. Throw in the stacker. And I'm actually going to take it up the opposite way so the tips are pointing forward. And I'll pull off all the little short fibers. Tied in on front, giving myself plenty of room to form a bullet head. Make a couple wraps and then let it spin around. And go through and clip all my short butts. Careful not to clip my thread. As you're doing these bullet heads, you will for sure at some point cut your thread. But it's no big deal, just retie it and continue tying your fly. So now I'm going to run through these. I'm going to tie them down. Pretty good because I don't want them to slip out. Okay, and I'll move your thread back to where you tighten your wing at. Take your finger, find the eye of the hook, pull all of these out fibers back. Gonna take some black rubber, medium, tie one end on either side. And I'm gonna make a hand whip finish. Good and tight. Clip it off, and I'm going to trim down these legs. And the last step is to trim the elk.